and I do forgive her. The thing is, Jesse, I just don't understand how all of these Christians that I've been around all my life, you know, I really saw them, quote unquote, running for the Lord. But I never seen them like say, return to your mother. They'll say return to your fellow man, you know, don't have any hatred in your heart. But I don't understand why anyone else has never like taught or preached this. That's the problem. (laughs) <laughs> what I don't like. Why do I have to go to my mom? But Christ taught Like, I it. don't have hatred to her. If you don't hate her, then you would go and forgive her. You said the Bible is the living word of God. Did you say something like that? I did. Where you get that from? You know I got that from church. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show. You're on the air. Hi, Jesse. So I've really been enjoying all of your shows. I just really started listening to you maybe a couple of months ago. Uh huh. And so I learn, you know, each time I do watch another video, I learn each, you know, more things that you're saying and I get the complete story. But I never really got the complete story on why you don't believe in the Bible all the way through. Because I believe in God. But it's from, but it's expired, you know, from God, the Bible. Right, that's why I believe in God. You believe I believe in God. You believe in the Bible? Well, not believe in it, but I believe the words in the Bible. But you don't believe in the Bible. I don't like the way you're rephrasing it. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking, I'm asking I, what you asking. <laughs> I don't like the way you're phrasing it because I under But I, I'm I phrasing the, the Bible. same way you phrase it. I you ask me if I why don't I believe in the Bible, the full Bible? I'm asking you, why do you believe in the Bible? Because I know that there are words inspired by God. These are men who were inspired by God to write the Bible, you know, to give us guidance in life. But why do you believe in the Bible, though? Why do I believe that there are true stories? No, why do you believe in the Bible? Why wouldn't I? <laughs> Like, why wouldn't I believe it? If it's the Word of God, why wouldn't I believe in it? Did God tell you to believe in the Bible? He didn't tell me not to. Did he tell you to? No. If he doesn't tell you not to jump off a bridge, will you jump off a bridge? That, no, that does not go, no, that's not right. (laughs) <laughs> right. That's, so not, it's not right that's me- not the same thing. It's not right for you to believe in the Bible because God did not tell you to believe in the Bible. Why why do you keep saying that though? Why do you keep you when you say that it's like a negative thing like you're saying. <laughs> why? It come because you're saying like God didn't tell you to believe in that Bible. Like <laughs> that Bible could be wrong. No, I didn't add you, that to but, it. I said God. But you, that's how it. That's how it comes out. But you're you reading that. that into it in your own mind. I didn't say that. But you know, everybody is going to interpret it like that, right? Because everybody is crazy. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and see, but if you, if I, if I wouldn't have called in, other people might, you know, just not know because I had not to, like, I what? had to actually go. Not know what you're really saying, like how you say all women are evil. I, like if you don't really go back through your videos, you would not know what you're saying, Jesse. That's why people like be like, "What are you talking about?" Do you agree with me that women are evil? Yes. I wow. Do. <laughs> I do. Was it hard? To, <laughs> was it when you first heard me say that? Was it hard to accept it? It wasn't hard to accept. I just had to understand what you were saying because I like truth, Jesse. I really like to right learn on. by myself. I love to learn the truth. So, so I wh- just had to grasp what you, what you were saying. That's all. Right. So why do you believe in the Bible? And God never told you to believe in the Bible. Because I know the Bible is the living word of God. So mm-hmm. believing in it, I have to... It's not believing in the Bible. I'm believing in God. No, you believe in the Bible. If you believe in the Bible, you don't believe in God. You can only serve one master. You can't serve two. Even now you're confusing me again. We were on the same page first. (laughs) Now you're confusing me again. What do you mean? Because stop saying that God don't want you to believe in the Bible. I didn't say he didn't want you to. I I said he did not tell you to. 
And, okay. And I say you can't believe in the Bible and God. You can only serve one master. That's the part where I'm lost. How can you not believe in the Bible? Because the Bible is not God. But if you want to believe in the Bible, you can believe in it, but you're not going to believe in God when you believe in the Bible. Why not if those are the things from God, though? But he didn't tell you to believe. He said only believe in him. But do do you believe in Satan? Nope. You don't? Nope. I know that he, I know he exists, but I don't believe in him. Are you saying believe like trusting? I don't believe in Satan at all, but I know he exists. I believe in God. But let me ask. God said in the Bible it says have faith in God, but nowhere in the Bible where it says believe in the Bible or have faith in the Bible. Why did you start doing that? I don't have faith in the Bible. You said you do. I have faith in God. Faith and believe is two different things. What's the I difference? have faith in God. What's the difference between faith and belief? Uh huh. I I just I just don't understand. You understand what? I don't understand <laughs> the part we say don't believe in. Okay, I, you say you don't believe in Satan. Okay. I don't understand that part. Don't understand what part? The belief part. In Satan? In anything. You shouldn't believe in anything. No, you said that you believe in the Bible. And I said, well, if you believe in the Bible, you don't believe in God. And I don't understand that part. And why do you believe in the Bible? Who told you to believe in the Bible? I guess I'm believing that the the words in the Bible are true. Can I say it like that? Yep. Okay. Well, let me ask. Okay. You said the Bible is the living word of God. Did you say something like that? I did. Where you get that from? You know I got that from church. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> okay. Oh All right. I, I I think I understand. I sweat like a slave. Um <laughs> you, you and me both. Are you you still believe that the Bible is the living word of God? Um I still kind of believe that yet. Why? Because we're living, and we have to live like God told us to live. Where in the Bible does so, it say that the Bible is the living Word of it, God? It does not say that, Jesse. So then it why do you believe like, that, then? Because it's, it sounds good, I guess. It sounds good. Oh, oh, oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> ah, yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm right about okay. what? Um... The living word of God part, I just probably, you know, I got that from church growing up. It sounds but so, I think that is in the Bible. No, that is it in the Bible. It sounds so no, holy to say the Bible is the living word of God. It but sounds so but holy. it's in the Bible, though, right? Where? It is in the Bible. I've it never is a scripture it. in the it might Bible. Be, I've never seen it. I think it is, but I Where? did learn it from church. I'm not even going to lie. But I, I, think, I don't think that people would have been lying to me on these years. Oh, yes, they would. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> Do you have anger? Not anymore. Do you have anger? Yes. Why you lie? I said not anymore. Because Okay, do it, do they go away slowly or you it just goes away immediately? <laughs> it goes away instantly. <laughs> because mine seems to, you know, gradually progress. So I'm like, okay, I see changes where things don't affect me like it used to. So you still have anger. Have you you heard me say forgive your mother? 
I have forgiven her. You went to I her? I have not went to her. No, Jesse, I did not go so to her. So you have not <laughs> forgiven her then? Why haven't you gone? God said, you got all that belief in the Bible. In the Bible, God said, go and forgive, and I will forgive you. Why have you done it? The only I'm going to tell you the honest and goodness truth. It, the only reason why I haven't done it, because I don't see millions of people around the world going to their mothers. Well, what does it have to do with you? Because I think if God wanted us to do that, he would have told, like, preachers, wouldn't they have listened to it hundreds of years ago? Wouldn't they have been telling their family what that, know, to go do that? He said hundreds of years ago, if you are angry at anyone, you have ought against anyone, go and forgive them. I'm not angry them. at my mom. Yes, I understand. you are. I'm not because then I understand wh- she couldn't help herself. So I why have you gone that. and forgiven her then? I have forgiven her in my heart. What? No, you haven't. Why uh-huh. haven't you gone and forgiven her? Did God because say do it in well, the? Not even, did God not say do it in the heart, about. or did He say go and forgive, and I will forgive you? Okay, for one, I don't think she'll understand what I'm talking about. Does she need to? I don't want her to hate me. She already hates you. I don't want her to act like she don't. Like, I still want her to act like she loves me. But acting like she loves you is hating you. Okay. So even though she gave her heart to God. She had not given her heart to God. Satan's still on her heart. Why would you? Why? Why? Because she is an unforgiving female. Why? Okay. Why, though? Because she 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 loves hell more than she loves heaven. But I want to go back to why haven't you gone to her and forgiven her? Because she's not going to know what I'm talking about. Yes, she will. She will lie and pretend she doesn't know, but she knows. She would be lying about it if she said that to you. But you don't know what she's going to say because you haven't gone to her yet. But why don't other Christians, why don't they have to do this? If they're, if, Everyone that want to return to the father must forgive the mother. Sharetta, a first time call out of Michigan. So Sharetta, due to time here, um, why why have you gone to your mother and apologized for resenting her? That's what forgiveness is. Why have you done that? It's just because I just didn't think that she'll understand what I was talking about. She That's will all. understand, I, but you don't need her to understand. People, when they say, oh, I don't understand what you mean, they lying. They're not ready to admit that they it's true. But you don't need her to understand it. You need to understand that in order to return to the Father, in order to be born again of the Father, you need to forgive your mother. And I do forgive her. The thing is, Jesse, I just don't understand how all of these Christians that I've been around all my life, you know, I really saw them, quote unquote, running for the Lord. But I never seen them like say, return to your mother. They don't say return to your fellow man, you know, don't have any hatred in your heart. But I don't understand why anyone else has never like taught or preached this. That's the problem. <laughs> what I don't like. Why do I have to go to my mom? But Christ taught Like, I it. don't have hatred to her. If you don't hate her, then you would go and forgive her. You're afraid I, of I her. Have. Why are you a afraid little, of but, her? Uh, just a little bit. Just because I see myself in my mom. No, you see, see your mom in you. She has recreated he, you in her right, image. Right, right. Do you exactly. want to be in your mother's image or your father's image? I want to be in my father's city. Then how are you going to do it if you don't go and forgive her for what she's done to you? Okay, I will. No, I ask you, how will you re- become your father's image if you don't go and forgive your mother? Is there another way for that to happen? Yes, because I have forgiven her in my heart. Did God so say do it I, in I, the I'm heart not... or go and forgive? He did tell us to go and forgive. So why are you I obeying the what... devil? 
I will do it. I just can't wrap my mind around why everybody else hasn't been doing it. What have happened to do with you? Or even thought of What that that have to do with you? Let everybody else stay in hell. Don't you want heaven on earth? I do. So why do you compare yourself to others? Galatians 6 said, don't compare yourself with others. Just look at your own works. Why are you doing that? Mm-hmm. I will. I will go see what happens. It's the holiday. Can I at least wait after Christmas? You might not be around after Christmas. You're right. Okay. Never put off today what you can put tomorrow what you can do today. So I have to, I cannot do it over the phone. I have to go personally to If her. you could be looking at her, you can, you need to be looking at her so you can get your courage back because right now you have fear and your fear came from your mother because you have the same spirit of fear that she has. She has recreated you in the image of the devil, which is in her. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go to her. Are you surprised how afraid you are of her? Not really. <laughs> because it, my mother is so strong, and she means the best for everything. No, she doesn't. She wants no, yes, she does. No, she she doesn't, just doesn't yeah. know better. Your mother is pure evil, and she doesn't mean the best for anyone. It's all about her. Ain't it about nobody but her? Jesse, my mother is a missionary. Uh, even on a mission, you're right, to kill sto- no, she's souls. Not. <laughs> <laughs> she might have forgave her mother. You don't know. If your mother had forgiven, you would know. So let me One ask. One more last question before you ask that question. Yes. Do I, can I ask my kids to forgive me? No, you not? can apologize to them for what you've done to them because you okay. have recreated them in your image in the same way your mother has recreated her image. Because the gates of hell come through the woman, and until mm-hmm. you forgive, you're going to do exactly what was done to you by your mother. Um, did you turn your children away from their fathers? Me or her? You. No, I did not turn my children away from their father. Then why are they closer to you than they are their father? I don't think they oh, are. Yes, they are. Why? Because you that's the way you want it. No. Yeah. I don't want them to be close. I want them to be close. Wait, they're close. They're both of us. They're but, close to both of us. Nope. Why would you say they're closer to me? Because you have done to them what your mother done because to you. Because I haven't forgot forget, went to forgive my mother, so they're closer to me. Yes. He ain't went to forgive his mother either. Who? His, they daddy, my husband. <laughs> Do you obey your <laughs> husband? I. Um, you about to lie. No, I was about to ask you a question. I was about to say I do. <laughs> I was about to say I do, but I was about to ask you a question because I didn't want to lie. Do you obey your husband? No, I'm going to say I do. Yes, I do. Do you obey your husband? I'm, yes. Do you obey your husband? Yes. Have you apologized because you to Because you know him? why? Why? Oh, well, so I don't obey my husband because I haven't apologized to my mother. You haven't apologized to your husband for turning his children away from him. You got some work to do. So when you ask, when you ask your father, ask your father, why did he protect you from your mother? What did he say? So he has passed, but this is the thing. I want, this is my question. What I want to ask you about with them. So my father, um, I lived with him a lot growing up because my mother was on drugs before she turned her life around and got saved, which she is saved. But before all yeah, that happened, Yeah, they got you know, water and hell, too. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so 
I lived with him a lot. She was in the Army for a while, and then when she came back, she was on drugs. So I went back to him. So I was always close to my father. So it wasn't like I wasn't never close to nice. my father. I can say equally I was close to my mom and my father. Well, I'm glad you were close to so your father. That's why I don't have hatred in my heart for her because I, I understand. I don't judge her. She can, I made mistakes in my, you know, my life uh, as a parent. So go and forgive her then. Okay. Are you doing the silent prayer? I am not. Why not? Because I do the because I do the talking prayer. Right, you love praying to the devil. Every time you open up your mouth, you pray to the devil. Yes. So Jesus only wants you to talk to him in silence. Be still and know God. But there is a time to pray and with your mouth. When? At church. <laughs> Jesse, let's listen, <laughs> listen. I have to open. I listen. My oh. pastor. Now listen to this. My pastor is a very new minister. A very so what? he doesn't have a new a new pastor. Oh. Okay. So I I help him a lot in the ministry because I'm one of the quote unquote stronger members in the church. Okay. Oh Lord, so I do, well, that should be oh, a oh, mess. <laughs> If, if you destroy one there, oh my God. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> okay, fine. It's me, cool to the eye, like a time, it's cool to the eye, Kim, cool to the eye. That's right. I don't do that, Jesse. Thank God. But I do, I don't, you know, I have, I know people who speak in tongues, and I believe that they are very sincere. Yeah, right. Sincerely so worshiping Satan. We, that's enough. So the, the the words in the Bible. That's another thing that I don't understand. The speaking in tongues. How how you don't believe in speaking in tongues? I don't understand that either. Well, you will if it's clearly in the Bible. Here's what I recommend. Cause I gotta go now. I just gotta run. Um, uh, number one, I recommend you go and forgive your mother, and don't ask for forgiveness, but forgive her for what she's done to you, and then. Uh, I recommend you start, do your little hoop and the holler and prayer and all that mess, and then be still and know God. Do the silent prayer, and just do both until you see the right way to go, and you will see it. Apologize to your children for imposing your will on them and turning them away from their father. And I'm telling you, your life will become amazing. You're going to discover the kingdom of heaven inside of you, and the real living word is in you. It's not in the Bible. The Bible is a message from God, but the word of God is in your heart, and it is alive and is amazing. But you got to live from within, and you you sound like you want it because you are not rejecting the truth. And so, I, I highly recommend you start working on you, on yourself. I will. I will continue to do that. I will. Thanks, Jesse. You're welcome. Let me know how it goes. I will. Thank you. You're welcome. Amazing. Merry okay. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing.